The Forward Express is sponsored by Metal Ice Creams. Hello, I'm Metal Ice Cream CEO Honk Sky. I'm the man that can make your wildest and sickest dreams come true. And that's what we at Metal Ice Creams have done. This week we're introducing a new poison flavored ice cream to our traditional lineup of ice cream flavors, including all time favorites such as Toilet, Sunshine, and Heartbreak. And oh yeah, if you hear any news reports about people dying from the poison ice cream, just ignore them. Metal ice creams. Our ice creams are made with 100% real metals. Born for the life of a sardine, that is the life for me. Cavorting and spawning every morning under the deep blue sea. To have no fear for storm nor gale, oh, to chase the tail of a whale. Oh, for the life of a sardine, that is the life for me. Good day, little Miami. Meow I'm Doofus Redderstein, alongside the marvelous Nick Nipples. Testicles. And also with us is our new co-anchor, Becky Flowers, the woman with a penis. I have a magnitude 8 hard on. Obesity is a problem in every city in the world, except for Little Miami. Here it's not considered a disease, it's a government supported lifestyle. If you want to go to an all you can eat buffet in the morning, pay for your meal and stay till the evening, that's fine by me. It's what I call capitalism. Three meals for the price of one. Mayonnaiseitarianism is a growing lifestyle that politicians simply cannot ignore any longer. Grocery stores that sell nothing but mayonnaise have opened up, catering to those more nays than man. I mean, just last week, Fox Trampoline, a member of the so-called Big Gut Generation, successfully consumed an entire Walmart Supercenter in under 24 hours. Forward Express reporter Billy Cheesecake caught up with Fox to get his views on this amazing feat. Are you retarded? I'm not Billy Cheesecake. I'm Claire Dahl, here with Fox Trampoline. Fox, tell us how you were able to eat an entire Walmart. <laughs> well, I have a strong jaw and a big stomach. When I was five, I ate my bathroom, my kitchen, and my little sister Lola. This is our shirt. Impressive. <laughs> ah, there's a bee. We've all seen reality shows that award people for losing the most weight, but why don't we try the opposite? Let's give some fat bastard in Wyoming who couldn't leave his couch if he wanted to a giant steak for tripling his body weight in over a week. Or why not just put an IV in someone's arm and pump them full of mayonnaise? That way they don't have to waste any energy chewing. There is a direct correlation between a man's belt size and the amount of times he gets his dick sucked. I'm not a fat person, so more mouths for me. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being fat, but there is something wrong with being ugly. We'll be back after this word from Mayor Tom Bashhammer. Hello, I'm Mayor Tom Dashhammer, and I'm running for re-election this year. I'm not going to tell you why you should vote for me, it's not the kind of game I play, but I will tell you why you shouldn't vote for my opponent, Flood Hitler Giggles. Flood Satan Giggles once raped a forest of trees. Flood Mussolini Giggles was once visited by an angel late at night and strangled it with rope. Flood Anal Rape Giggles was responsible for the earthquake that destroyed Haiti. So see folks, Flood Giggles is nothing more than a balloon fucking pervert. Don't vote Giggles, vote Dash Hammer. Paid for by the Tom Dash Hammer International Abortion Bounty Hunters. Men who pee near one another have more than a 50% chance of falling in love. Or so says the Academic Journal of Toiletry Sciences. If there are two or more urinals in between them, then that chance is even greater. We caught up with local hole digger Molasses Ryder to get his opinion on the report. Claire Dahl here with Molasses. I'm Molasses Ryder. When I was in the ninth grade, I met my best friend Chili. And besides that one time at the beach, our friendship has been just that, a friendship. Molasses later admitted to his mama that he has had a romantic relationship with Chili for over five years. He has plans to become a straight man once again. He plans on doing this by using the ladies' restroom. Hello, I'm the weatherman. And in today's weather, me, in the bushes, watching you shower.
Little Miami is set to have a mayoral election within a few short weeks. Reporter Billy Cheesecake recently caught up with Mayor Tom Dashhammer and candidate Flood Giggles and got a word from each of the two candidates. After I defeat Flood, I'm going to have sex with his mother. Hi, I'm here with Flood Giggles. Flood, do you have a statement for the viewers at home? If I lose, then you're all going to die. I'm Claire Dahl reporting for the Forward Express. The Forward Express plans to broadcast the upcoming debate between Mayor Dashhammer and Mr. Giggles in a few short weeks. The race is wide open, like my legs, Boys. champion bowler John Bell movement lost all ten of his testicles in one game. Oh yeah! His friend Grace tossed him his nearly 30 pound bowling ball and accidentally hit him in his extra packed ball sack. Now that's what we call a strike here in Little Miami, baby. Speaking about strikes in Little Miami, John continued to bowl them. He got an extra perfect game. He scored 3.14! That's pie! That's nearly impossible! But what happened to his testicles, may you ask? Well, Grace took all 10 testicles. Now she plans on donating them to charity! <laughs> Remember, when you hear about the sports in Little Miami, you heard it from me. And my balls are in your hands, because this is Billy Booty, this is the sports attack, and Salome, Little Miami! Rocker Chris Daughtry died yesterday after he got his big bald head stuck in a hairdryer. It is not yet known why Chris Daughtry is using a hairdryer, but he's been known to do things that don't make much sense. Just last week, he cut off his penis in an Interlight Olympic competition. He recently completed work on his upcoming album, I'm Chris Daughtry and I'm Gonna Murder the World. Here is a clip from a song from that album. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. I'm Chris Daughtry, yeah! I'm Chris Daughtry here. Daughtry out. Daughtry's remains will be processed and served to Razorback Elementary School for lunch next Friday. There will be Corey Hain brownies with Chris Henry sprinkles for dessert. Oh, hi there. I'm Flood Giggles. And if you menstruate, I may be the candidate for you. My opponent, Tom Dashhammer, likes to talk a lot of trash. Not me. I eat trash. I'm a man of action. I kill people. Flood giggles. Murderer for mayor. Dr. Rhymes Juice was released from the hospital today after being rushed to the emergency room last weekend. Because of the doctor-patient confidentiality, the Forward Express cannot tell you why Dr. Juice was in the hospital. But, we have found this videotape that could give you the answer. Dr. Juice is one of the world leaders in popsicle medication. He's also been known to be a lightning rod for controversy. He once called being a pediatrician the last legal way to touch children. And then last December, he was sued for over $10,000 when he debuted his new approach to medicine. Semen is the solution. His autobiography, Pimpin' Ain't Easy, is set to hit bookshelves on April 1st. That's all for tonight, Little Miami. And we have some advice for you. I wear my mother's underwear because I like how it feels. Ice cream gives me gas. 
I like it up the ass. Ask your parents before eating any unidentifiable medication. Good night. Bang! But I don't want to be a tree Sticking in the ground I'd sooner be a flea I don't want to be a flower Waiting by the hour Hoping for pollens to alight on me So when I cease to be I want to go back, I want to go back I want to go back to the sea Home for the life of a sardine That is the life for me I'll get you, my pretty And your little dog, too Hey, come on!